Have you ever wondered how they made those nice hats with the leather patch? Don't go anywhere. That's what we're going to be doing today. What's up guys, this is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make an actual leather, like real leather, real leather, leather patch on your hat. Okay, so what I did with this leather, I actually painted the leather, yes, painted like with paint and stuff like that, painted the leather orange. And you can get the uh, the leather paint on, uh, um, there's different stores, right? You can get it on Amazon, you can get it anywhere. I got this one from Tendi Leather, if you guys wanna get it. I'll show you the actual paint in a little bit. But that's what I'm gonna do. So, and then what I did is, I actually covered the leather with uh, application tape. And the tape is there just for, so the laser doesn't burn it. I'm gonna be using Cam 5's laser to engrave and cut the actual leather. And that's what I put the, the uh, masking tape or application tape. I, I, this is actually application tape. You can also use painter's tape. If you don't have application tape or masking tape, you can definitely use painter's tape. tape. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna use this not to protect the leather, but actually to hold the leather down. So I've already created the logo. Let me turn the laser on and everything on so we can start engraving and making this batch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace the uh, where the logo is at. I don't know exactly where it's at, so I'm gonna trace it that way the laser will tell me where it's at and then I can position the leather exactly where I want it because this is such a small piece of leather and also odd shape. There you go, so making sure that it's gonna fit and I'm gonna run another, another trace and this time I know exactly where it's at. So there you go. Now we know that it's gonna fit in the small spot that I want it in. So now what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna tape this down. That way I know that the leather's not gonna move. And we don't want the leather to move, that way the uh, logo will be nice and straight. So let's go ahead and start the engraving process. Just so you know, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the lid open. Uh, leather usually smells pretty bad. It smells like burnt hair. Um, hopefully it doesn't take that long. So for those of you that uh, would like to know where, uh, what's the uh, settings, I'm actually doing uh, 20 inches per second at 50% power. It's actually going pretty fast. That's pretty good. Oh, I forgot to do the cut. <laughs> now I gotta do the cut uh, path. I forgot to put it in there. So let's cut it. So let's check and see, make sure that it cut all the way through. And it looks like it did. There you go. Perfect. Logo's ready. Um, but I think I went too far. I think it's a little too deep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut another one right beside it that is not that deep. Uh, we want those letters to stay in place and this one might, over the time, they might come off. So let's cut another one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the settings. Uh, and for those of you that wanna know the settings, I'm cutting at 30% at 20 inches per second. And this shouldn't take that long. It should probably take about maybe two minutes, probably less. Okay, so the reason why I cut a second one is because this first one, the engraving is, is very deep. And uh, when, uh, when you cut something that deep, 
eventually the small letters because I have very small, I know you cannot see them right now but you see them in a little bit uh, when you cut something that deep the letters will eventually come off so that's why I cut this one and let's see what it looks like and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with soapy water just a little bit of soapy water and then I'm gonna clean it because I don't want to clean it once I remove the application tape you want to clean it before you do that otherwise you'll stain the leather now let me do this other one this is the first one so once you get that tape wet it'll it'll come off real easy application tape comes off real easy this is real leather i painted it um orange as you can see there you go this is the very first one we did it looks really good it looks amazing um i just don't want to use it because it's very deep i mean super deep you can still use it it's it's nothing wrong with it and this is the second one i'm gonna remove the tape yeah, the tape comes off very, very easy. As you can see, just like that. See that? And this one is just perfect. I mean, this one, when I rub my finger against the, or across the letters, I can barely feel them. And that's perfect for something like this, because you know that uh, you just want to engrave it. You don't want to dig in so deep as this one. You can actually see on the big letters how it, much of a burn look. But this is the one we're going to use to create the hat. Now we need to prep the patches so we can ap apply them to the to the hat, which it, it'll be like this, right? However, when we go to sew this, the patch is gonna be moving everywhere. And also, I didn't explain this to you, but if you see this border right here, so it'll be the patch, right? And then you see that the thick line right there? I created that so I can hide my thread inside that, uh, that line right there. So, to prep the patch, you can use double-sided tape. This is normally what we use for, um, we use it for banners and stuff. Like to do the hem on the banners, that's normally what we do, what we use. So I'm gonna put a couple of, couple of lines of, um, let me see, put it this way. And you just want it, you just want it to, um, to hold, you just want to hold it in place while you sew it. So this is not something that's going to be there to actually hold the patch. We just want it to hold the patch while we're sewing it. Just like that. I know it's not the best uh, tape <laughs> work, but again, we just want to, we just want the, uh, patch to, to stay on the hat while we sew it just like that and then if you want to be a little extra you can put another one across you put another one across and uh, you just make sure you cut it so to, to where you don't see it or if you're gonna sell this to customers they don't see it go we don't need that we don't need this one so now we can attach this to the hat so we can sew it and this is not permanent um what do you call it the adhesive on this and this uh tape is not the best okay so don't think that that's gonna that that's gonna hold it real good and what i'm doing right now is i'm folding the the uh the patch just a little bit not all the way just to kind of give it that shape you know for the hat and also i want to know where the center is so touching both ends, I'm not going to squeeze it all the way through because if I do, um, the tape is going to stick to, to itself. Right now, I just want to know roughly where the, where the center is. And now we can attach it to the hat right where you want it to be, just like that. Sorry guys, I think I <laughs> forgot to press record. Hopefully I didn't. But yeah, that's what it looks like once you sew it and then in the back, You'll just have that line right there where the machine actually sewed the patch. Um, all I got to do now, let me trim that. So I'm gonna trim that little piece right there. And now what I got to do is um, 
Just kind of burn the ends of the thread so they don't unravel. And that's it. But that's how you put a patch on a, on a hat, a leather patch. This is real leather. And now what I'm gonna do is, uh, again, I'm just gonna burn the ends of the thread. You can't even see them, but I'm just gonna burn them so they'll sort of melt in there. Then I'm gonna do the one in the back. The one in the back, you have to be careful because <laughs> you can actually burn the hat just like that. You don't need something like this, okay? This is just something that I had um, within reach. That's why I was using that. And that's how you put a leather patch on a hat. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy. It's not, I mean, there's nothing to it. Let me show you the actual paint that I use. So here's the paint that, uh, that I actually use for this patch. Not this color though, this is red. Uh, the patch has uh, a, an orange uh, paint on it, but we paint the leather before we go to before we go to do anything because uh, you don't want to mess it up. You can paint it after you put the, the design on it. But that's how easy it is. The paint and the leather I got I got it from Tandy Leather. There's other places that you can get it from, many other places that you can get it from. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. A pleasure like always i don't like wearing hats because i think i look stupid but even with me looking stupid let me show you what it looks like once you wear it if you guys want to get one of these hats let me know and maybe we can make it happen <laughs> or not <laughs> i'm just playing yeah guys let me know what you guys think thank you for watching it's a pleasure like always if you want to see something else being done in this shop let me know in the comments below and we will make it happen maybe <laughs> thank you guys god bless you and i will catch you on the next one bye bye now let me take this hat because i feel stupid i'm gonna walk in the house right now and my wife is gonna be like what's going on are we wearing hats now yes <laughs> thank you guys god bless you adios now <laughs>